people who say I shouldn't share tricks they don't seem to understand though you know it's 2024 now you know before the internet was around it was easy to keep secrets and and just read books or go find secrets now they're all out there and it's another medium you know it's like all these magicians are guarding an empty safe you know so if you can't find a new way of doing a trick or be entertaining with it then you shouldn't be in the business. I'm having to do that every day of my life, walking on stage as an entertainer and be entertaining. You know, so as magicians, don't take life so seriously. Have a great laugh and realize we're all going to work. There's still plenty of work for us. And if me disclosing secrets stops you from working, then you're not doing something right because I'm still working every day as a magician. And I love magic. It's not like I'm getting Copperfield's tricks or Chris Angel's or Shin Lim's and going, here's they do it and here's here's their trick. I'm just entertaining it the way I like to. And the cool thing with me doing magic is people don't realize everything I'm doing in my videos is stuff you can buy on Amazon. It's stuff you can get readily on Amazon. It's not stuff that somebody's worked years for and you can't find a secret for. Well, there'd been a lot going on. My reaction when I was suspended is there's been a lot of talk for the last few weeks since this video took off. And if I was a small birthday party magician, in the middle of Barstow, California, and it got 10 views, this wouldn't be happening. It's because it, it went viral and it's got over 50 million views in a couple of weeks. And that's really the reason that I think there's a problem because I'm getting attention for something that actually is really entertaining. But in the magic world, you're not supposed to give away your secrets. And that's the problem.